Hey kids! So this is a look that I came up with. Um, I was inspired by True Blood, the new series that's coming out starting today. So excited. Hopefully I'll get this video up before uh, the first episode tonight. Um, this is a look that I was inspired to create. It's um, from the first, I think, four minutes or so of the first episode of season four, which premiered on HBO a while ago. Um, and it has to do with the fairies that you've, this is kind of a spoiler, um, and then if you've watched it, um, you'll know that they're not actually as good as you would think, and they're actually kind of evil and kind of creepy looking. So I did this look, um, this half of the face is the good fairy, complete with glitter and falsies, and this side is the, um, scary evil, um, monster fairy. So if you want to see how I did this look, then keep watching. Okay, so first what we're going to do is we're going to prime our face. I'm using the Laura Mercier um, foundation primer. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to block out the face where the evil fairy is going to show through. So I'm going to use a white coal or um, white kajal eye eyeliner. This is Stila's Pearl. And I'm going to do a jagged line because um, it's kind of like an explosion to the face. And you don't want it to look like a circle, you want it to look like it was ripped away. Next, since this is the part where the evil fairy is going to show through, I'm going to wet out um, the eyebrow. And to do this, I'm going to use um, just regular eyelash adhesive. Um, some people use the glue stick method, you can use spirit gum, but this is what I have readily accessible, and this works well. And you just want to apply it to the area. Quickly I'm going to use a high coverage foundation, just to kind of block that out. The glue is going to help adhere the foundation to the eyebrow to white it out. If you layer the glue on top of foundation, on top of glue, on top of foundation, it'll cover it up. So as you can tell, it's pretty much it's pretty much whited out. Um, you don't have to use uh, latex, liquid latex. You don't have to use anything like that. Um, you can pretty much just use anything you would really have in your makeup collection. Uh, basically, eyelash adhesive and foundation. It's just a layering process, and you want to do it um, as quickly as possible in between steps so it doesn't dry and get funky. But this pretty much is it. So next I'm going to take the rest of my foundation I'm going to apply it to this area and kind of blend it into the lining. And you want to, for this part, you want to use a very, um, mattified foundation, something that isn't going to be um, light reflective, since for the rest of the face we're going to use light reflective foundation to create a fairy-esque appearance. You go underneath the eye. I would go on the eyelid and just do a complete full circle. And then use a foundation brush to just kind of um, blend it through so it's not too harsh of a line. I'm going to take my Laura Mercier um, translucent powder 
I'm going to use a kabuki brush. I'm just going to apply this to this area and just mattify everything. <laughs> so we've completely whited out this area. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply um, Max Rubenesque Paint Pot. And I'm actually going to take the foundation brush that I just used and I'm going to apply this to the entire side of my face where the pretty fairy is going to show through. So it creates a glow, almost looks like you have a sunburn kind of effect, but it's nice and shiny. And then next I'm going to take um, Revlon's Photo Ready Foundation. Which shade is this in? Oh, it's in 003 Shell. Um, this is a great foundation for a look like this because it's very, very sparkly. It catches the light, it creates a nice glimmer, um, which is what you want for something like this. So I'm going to take the same brush we've been using and just apply that on top. Since you want this to glow, you're not going to put any powder to set it because you want to have the contrast between this and the rest of this. So we're going to leave it as is. Uh, let's see. Next I'm going to conceal. This side of the face needs to be very, very free of any flaws. any concealing you can do will help. Okay. And a really, really great product for highlighting um, any area of your face is Benefits High Beam. So I'm going to take that on my finger. I'm going to go along the cheek area. Apply it underneath the eye. To prevent any possibility of any shadow peeking through. You want to look as though you're glowing completely. A little bit on your chin. A little bit right above your cupid's bow. Just a little bit. Down the center of your nose. And blend it up. Not this way, towards this side of your face. Just in as many places as you think could benefit from a glow. Now that we're glowing, uh, let's see, I'm going to put on, yeah, I'm going to use Max Mineralized Skin Finish, Oops, sorry, Max Mineralized Skin Finish and Petticoat. Just taking a regular fluffy brush, just kind of swirl it in highlight blush on this side just to add to the shimmer and that rosy glow next to create um, sunken in effect right here 
we're going to I'm going to take um, this is really really dirty I apologize my Anastasia um, bronzer sorry <laughs> I'm going to take a brush like this. It has um, kind of like a fluffy edge to it. I'm just going to tap that in. And you just want to accentuate this area for like a sunken in effect. The darker you can go, the better. Okay, next on the side we're going to accentuate the lines of the face. Best way to accentuate the lines on your face is to kind of scrunch your face and show those angry lines. And I'm just taking, um, sorry, my Revlon Color Say Eyeliner in black. And you squint your face. Um, this is the e.l.f. palette. I'm not sure which one this is. Um, this is just a basic palette. It has a lot of colors. I'm just going to use a flat brush like this and this pink color right here. I'm going to blend it out. And we're going to go around the bottom edge too. And then I'm going to take this purple right here. Pretty much just going to do the same thing on top. So for this side of the face, I'm going to brush out my eyebrows. Nice natural arch. Um, I'm not going to fill them in. You don't need to. You want them to be somewhat light. And then I'm going to do a semi-nude um, color on the lid. i use the same palette that I just used before. I'm going to use this color right here. all the way up to the brow. I'm just going to take this little brush right here and this blue color right here, right here. I'm just going to create a shadow here. Blend it out with the finger. And a little bit of that purple that we used above. It's a very evil, beat up look. <laughs> okay, so that's good. Okay, next I'm going to take this color right here. It's a pretty pinky champagne kind of color. I'm going to blend that into my crease for a nice kind of highlight. And then I'm going to take 
this color right next to it, which is a, a nice brown, with a little hint of pink and purple. I'm going to layer that on top. Next, I'm going to take Urban Decay's eyeliner and whiskey. And I'm going to line my upper lash line. can be messy, it's fine, because we're going to actually smoke it out. I'm going to use an angled brush like this. I seem to be using this palette a lot. And then the same um, e.l.f. palette with a nice matte brown color, which is right here. And we're just going to smoke out that line. We're going to do a little bit on the bottom, too. Okay, then after doing that, we are going to apply false lashes. I'm going to take these eyelashes. Um, I got these at Halloween, I think, last year. They're really nice because they have... They're really nice because they have these little crystals along the edge of them so it kind of gives a little extra bling and I'm only going to apply them to this side. You want this side to be as plain and as old looking as possible. So so next one I'm going to take a lash defining mascara. This is one by one volume express by Maybelline. I'm just gonna apply it to my lower lash line. a little bit of glitter I'm going to apply um, Urban Decay's glitter eyeliner in distortion I'm going to apply that right above the false lashes just an extra layer of glitter And then for the lips, you're going to want to create a nice pink background first. So I'm using NYX's Narcissus. This is a really, really, really bright pink. But we're going to mute it out a little bit with a gloss. This is... Um, Milani 3D Glitzy in designer label. Okay, so this is the final look. It's a little crazy. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll talk to you later. See ya!